100 metres. And there's something, Steve, you know a thing or two about. You enjoy these, don't you? I enjoy watching them, yeah. I sort of used to enjoy running them. But, uh, this, I wouldn't have enjoyed running against one or two of these here because we've got some great athletes in here, including the Olympic champion here, Manuel Correa. But this is the race I've, I've, yeah, I really need to see him step up and show us that he can go to the Worlds and contend. He won the 400 metres in a very quick sub-45 clocking at the Kenyan Championships. Well, there, if you're watching the last Diamond League, squeezed his way through. Let's use that word uh, instead of uh, pushing uh, because he was initially disqualified and then reinstated. And he beat Tual, the two Frenchmen running so well. They came one to the French Championships. Collins Kipruto. Now, he won the B race in Ostrava earlier in the year. That's still his season's best. Adrian Ben, who had a fabulous year last year, finished fifth in the Olympics. And the new person invested 1500 earlier in the year. Struggling is Ferguson Rotich, the Olympic silver medalist, not yet under 146 this year. Really has struggled in the Diamond Leagues and in other races as well. He's 11th in the Kenyan trials. And then Andreas Kramer. Well, he will be hoping he can run another 144 clocking here. And he ran a 1500 personal best in Solentuna just up the road as well earlier in the year. Well, Career, Emmanuel Career, the Olympic champion, has not looked that in his 800 meter races so far this year. He's got the speed, we know that from oh, last mark. week in the championships, but can he take on the inform Robert Muller of Algeria? There are five Algerians right up there in the world rankings this year as well, that's unusual. Muller and Robert sharing a lane. Career in the, I'm going to call it pinky orange. I'm quite sure where the colour it's coming across on your television. But the pace that uh, they've been asked for is just outside 50 seconds. And he's going to try and keep going to 500 metres. And uh, Correa's on the outside as the pacemaker just says, give me some room, boys. I can't even get to the front. Kramer just allowing Kipruto to move in front of him. Well, single file, that suggests that uh, it's a fairly safe one. Kramer for the Sweden, third from the back at the moment. And uh, interesting, Steve, I'm watching Benjamin Robert, who finished like a train in Paris, shoving his way through between bodies. And he's right at the back of that pack at the moment. Last but one. Career in a good place, though. Robert, as Tim said, just hanging around at the back. 49.71, that might be why. That's very, very quick, and Robert might have run a smart race here because he's just sitting a little bit back. Collins Kipruto pushing on from the Olympic champion, Kipruto. And then we've got Mula just tucked in behind him, moving out. Kremer looking for some room on the inside. Now Robert starting to make a bit of a move, the diminutive Frenchman on the outside. But Kipruto keeping this pace hard, keeping it fast. Career looking good still. Mula looking dangerous as well. Robert gets a little bit closer and coming right round the back is Adrian Ben of Spain. And then Mula is the one who looks so he might have something to take on Kipruto. But Kipruto hanging on to the lead. It's anybody's race in the home straight. Kipruto from Mula. Tual attacking. Robert trying to get there. But look at Mula of Algeria. Continues to run away. This is going to be very, very quick. It's the Algerian who's got the strength. And he comes away. 144-6. Robert takes second place. Tual third. But it's the Algerian who wins it. I said at the beginning, the Algerians have got five men who've been all ranked in the round about 145 and under. And Mula there broke out of the pack at the top of the home straight, Tim. I thought that any one of three or four could win. Not career though, look at him. He's gone backwards in the home straight. Challenging times for the Olympic champion. They are indeed, Steve. But I'll tell you what I love about this, uh, this result tonight is it's another name thrown in the mix of a race, an event that is wide open, actually, this year. You know, you look at Dos Santos and you have to say, well, it's a very strong favourite for the world title at 400 metre hubs. This event, you could throw up ten names and make a reasonable case for any one of them to get a medal, if not win the world title in a couple of weeks' time. And that is a 144.60 by Muller. Impressive. Tim, he's improved from 146.55 at the start of this year. Well, is that it? I think it is. The, everyone's going home. I didn't. There was just been an announcement of the Tano in my Swedish. How's your Swedish? Uh, my Swedish is picking up all the time, is obviously. Uh, okay. No, but uh, I can I read, and it. I think that was a result <laughs> from Carolina uh, Kruf Mondo. there chatting. Yeah, anyway, very quickly to just tie this up, Mula has improved so much this year. He is the African champion that was, they were held, those championships held in Mauritius. 
and uh, that's a good way to end a great performance from him. Kramer was uh, fourth place in the end, getting congratulations from his teammate Duplantis, but as ever, Tim, he takes all the headlines here in Stockholm. He does indeed, yes, it was the sixth and final meeting record of the night, 6 metres 16, an unofficial world outdoor record from Mondo Duplantis to close the show here at the Olympic Stadium in Stockholm. We've enjoyed it enormously, I hope you have too. It's uh, like the grand old days, big crowds, great atmosphere, beautiful